So when we talk about being a modern day rifleman, there's a couple different facets that are shown on the internet, and one is a little bit more prevalent than the other. The one that's real prevalent is the close quarters, fast fire, transition, run and gun type stuff, which is awesome skill sets to learn. Doing that sort of thing really puts you on the A game as far as the handling of your firearm and all that good stuff. But uh, the other side is more of the accuracy side, one round at a time, and that's what I want to talk about. Uh, people tend to do the flashy things with firearms. I see it at the ranges all the time, and that's fine. I, I totally get it. Either, you know, video games influence a lot of firearms buyers along with, you know, Instagram videos and YouTube videos that people go out and see the popular guys out there doing their thing. So they want to go to the range and do the exact same thing. And it's fun to do. I totally get it. But unfortunately, it's not very efficient. If you're really serious about becoming a modern-day rifleman, a competent rifleman, then what you need to do is look at, okay, how am I going to put my round, every single round, on target? What do I need to do to do that, to be efficient, to be effective? Uh, typically, in any military unit, there's only a small percentage of people in that fire team that are actually effective riflemen. And that's just kind of proven through the years, through the different conflicts, it is what it is. So my hopes in this video is if you really want to be a rifleman, whether you're military, you're law enforcement, you just, for self-defense, you're just a citizen out there, you're a prepper, survivalist, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you want to be a good rifleman, you have to look at, okay, how can I be efficient and how can I uh, place one round at a time on a target? And it's easy to practice. So all you have to do is take whatever loadout you have, go out into the field, go to the shooting range, whatever, and then start off simple, standing unsupported. Fire around into a target, whatever distance that target is, it doesn't matter, whatever's comfortable for you. Did the round hit center of mass of whatever target you were shooting at? If it didn't, why not? That's how you get better, you critique yourself. You fire that round and you say, okay, I missed the target, or I hit high, or I, I did this, I did that. Until you're hitting center of mass on whatever that target is, you're not being effective. So you can sit there and troubleshoot, figure out, okay, what's going on? Is my sight picture wrong? Is my cheek weld wrong? Is my my trigger press wrong? Is this wrong? Is that wrong? What's, what's going on? How am I being inconsistent? And you really be able to troubleshoot some of those minor areas. When you get that, go to a different position. Go to kneeling unsupported. Go against a barricade. Uh, go in, work into various different positions, sitting position, cr uh, squat position, or uh, shooting under vehicles, whatever. Whatever you can do, whatever the range allows, or whatever you can do safely in a field, go for it. And in each one of those positions, you should be able to hit a stationary target for a shot. And if you're not, Look at yourself and go, okay, is it the rifle? Is my rifle screwed up? Make sure your rifle mechanically is, is working good, which most rifles do. Just make sure you got it sighted in correctly. But then you start looking at yourself. And you can really start troubleshooting yourself with less amount of ammo. You're not going to get this kind of troublesho troubleshooting when you're uh, doing the real quick close quarters type shooting, fast shooting, all that stuff. Because you may be hitting the target when you're doing close quarters stuff, but you're not hitting the target as well as you should be, if you get what I'm saying. So really concentrate, even if it's a semi-automatic rifle. The one thing about semi-automatic rifles, and it's funny, it's kind of a mental thing. When you pick up an AR or an AK or, or whatever, whatever type of semi-automatic rifle, you put the magazine in, whether it's a 20, 30, 40 round magazine, you start popping off rounds. That's one hit. It's just nature, it's just the way it is, it's fun. But just because you have a semi-automatic rifle with a bunch of rounds doesn't mean you have to shoot fast. Doesn't mean you have to always do controlled pairs or triple taps or this or that or the other thing. One round at a time. Set yourself, look at your target, fire that round off. Did it hit? If it did, great. In the words of Clint Smith and Thunder Ranch, Happy Meal, right? If it hit, great. If it didn't, okay, why not? What went wrong? That's another. So think about that. And really, now is the time when you look at the state of ammunition and, and whatnot in the U.S. being August 2021. Now is the time to really focus on that. You can go out to the range with, say, just 40 rounds um, versus 300. And you can actually get some really good uh, 
efficient training in. Think about it. Fire that first round. Round number one. Why didn't it hit the target? You look at yourself. What did I do wrong? What do I got to do here? Within 40 rounds, 50 rounds, you can get a lot more valuable training than just going out with however many hundreds of rounds just blasting away. So, all right, enough hammering out of me on this one. Feel free to put your thoughts in below and, uh, you know, what you think on it. And, again, this is just something I think I want to help people out there. I think if you really focus on the accuracy side and get that down, it's going to help you in all the other flashy stuff, the close quarters side, all that stuff. Because if anything, you're going to be able to transition a lot better. So if you're doing close quarters and you're, and you're doing drills where you're transitioning from close targets to far targets out a few hundred meters, few hundred yards, it's going to help you become a lot faster in that transition because you're already going to know the mechanics, you're already going to know all that stuff, and you can place those rounds on target fast. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching as always, and I hope everybody's staying safe out there.